So this is the Art Spectrum Fine Tooth Primer, clear. So it looks white, but it will come out clear. This is the smooth, just a little bit smoother texture. And here's one which is an aubergine colour. So it comes in all sorts of different colours already mixed for you. I had That was the first one I ever bought and I used that colour a lot, but I now prefer to get the clear ones. And you can get them in other brands as well. What I'm going to do now is just show you how to make one using just a piece, a couple of pieces of matte board so you can see how the primer goes on. One matte board is very smooth, uh, creamy colour. This is a darker colour, nice and neutral though, which is smooth again and this one has a bit more texture on it. So I'm going to use the fine tooth because I really prefer that. I like a little bit of extra texture. And we're going to look at a couple of different ways you can put it on. Just using a flat acrylic brush, dip it in, and let's start with this one. So I'm just brushing that, you can see very randomly. I'm not going for a really even texture on this one. I want to have some surprises when I paint, so just brushing it on and making sure I cover all the paper, all the, the matte board. Matte board is a really good choice because um, if you paint in other mediums, or, well even if you paint in pastels, and you you use a matte, you do your own framing, then you've usually got spare pieces of matte board hanging around. Also my local art shop sells uh, off cuts very cheaply. I can get a heap of them in lots of different colours, so then I can just prime over the top with this smooth or, or extra fine pastel primer, the clear one, and I've already got a lot of different colours. So that's one done with a very random pattern. This one I'm going to use a more even pattern, and you can see I'm just going across, and this is if I don't want uh, as much texture on there. So I'll get the grit texture, but I'll get it in um, a more controlled and even way. So just brushing it right across. If you've had it for a while and you haven't used it and it's got thick, just add a little bit of water. Not too much, but a little bit of water so it's brushable, and that will make it go on easier and more evenly. That aubergine one I've had for long years, in fact. Um, and if I use that, I just thin it out with water. And now what I'm going to do is just brush it the other way and even out those brush marks. You could, of course, roll it on as well, but I find the brush works better. So that's two different uh, methods of putting it on. And now I'm just going to show you how you can make your own colour. So here I have just a little container. I'm going to put a little bit of it in there, just enough to do that sheet. And then I have an Art Spectrum Concentrated Artist ink. It's an acrylic ink, and this is permanent magenta. So all I need is a couple of drops in there, and then I'm just mixing it around. and I get this very hot pinky kind of colour because the magenta is a little bit toned down by the clear acrylic. If I put more of the um, ink in then I would have a, a deeper magenta colour there. So it depends how much you want to put in. And again I'm just putting this on randomly and then I can use that for whatever I want to later on when I, I want a piece with a really uh, warm background I can go straight for this one and I want it with a bit of texture on it already I've got the the more textured um, pastel primer and I've put it on in that zigzaggy way to, and leaving quite a few brush strokes there so that's how you prime matte board, and you can use that technique for any other 
material you want to use, a wood panel, a piece of glass, a piece of acrylic, um, watercolour paper, any sort of card. And you can make your own uh, pieces of support for, to paint on with your pastels, giving it extra texture, if you like texture, giving it a different colour. You can even mix the colours up and, and do it that way. Hope that's got you a little bit excited about some making some of your own supports. See you next time. Bye for now.